just wait few minutes uh, uh, such that the, some of the other students can join uh, in the class and also uh, one thing actually the yesterday class uh, whatever actually I found uh, the uh, the Google Meet attendance actually the uh, that one actually not kept uh, all the student information information so what actually uh, I think actually the uh, automatically Google Meet attendance uh, whatever actually kept uh, I can kept it and as well as in the middle of the uh, class actually I can take the uh, I call your roll number that is the just like a attendance is it clear is uh, at somewhere in the middle of our class I call out your roll number for the attendance purpose physical attendance purpose okay if during that time someone actually not present then I can consider this one as a absent uh, okay just uh, I want to share uh, my screen. Okay. Uh, can you uh, see my uh, laptop screen? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, uh, actually, I want to uh, discuss uh, in my first class uh, the the brief introduction of uh, the what is the database, uh, what is the database management system, and why uh, we go for database management system. Means, what is the problem in the earlier file system? Typical file system or conventional file system that is the data actually stored in file and uh, some application programs uh, on above uh, right to access such data or modify such data this is what actually problem actually happens uh, that is basically the purpose of database uh, we can discuss one or two points there here actually uh, uh, there are a number of uh, problems actually raised uh, and uh, in this uh, 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 discuss on actually the uh, what is the drawback of earlier file system conventional file system or what is the main reason behind to uh, develop the database management systems we can consider the banking database example okay part of the banking database systems and the first uh, drawback is the actually data redundancy and inconsistency that one actually I already discussed just a little bit uh, brush up uh, here actually the 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 uh, we can consider the part of the banking systems they are actually the uh, suppose the uh, data actually stored in some uh, files and some of number of application programs are there for example the application programs uh, say uh, the program application program is uh, there uh, that can uh, that can do the tasks to debit or credit an account there is a, some application program is there that can add a new account or remove the account and as well as the uh, application program is there that can find out the balance of an account okay just a minute or maybe if uh, there is some application program is there uh, that can uh, that can uh, that can generate the monthly statements so uh, I already told uh, such application programs when the system actually create database system actually create or file systems actually create depending on the need of the organization suppose the bank organization at that time the different data actually stored different files actually create and different data actually stored on that uh, files and also the some of the number of application programs actually write according to the demand of the organization that is for example here in the banking system that according to the demand of the bank okay and later if any new thing is uh, need to be accessed or update or something do then uh, need to be write the new application programs and as well as the uh, need to be create the new uh, file also to store the some uh, uh, some kind of new information or uh, something okay so so uh, this one actually that this uh, defined files and uh, the application programs these are actually created uh, by the different programmers uh, over a long period of time not a at the beginning that is a long period of time 
and uh, there are possibilities for that and maybe the uh, due to the long period of time there may be chance the different system programmers uh, system programmers actually write this uh, such program application program and maybe the uh, create the files also so for that there may be chance the files are uh, likely to have the different format and the program uh, may be written by different programming language not a particular programming language the all the application programs written in a particular programming language maybe some of the application program written in a fortran some of the application program written in a powol language some of the application programs say written in a uh, c type of language so so for that uh, their chances are there uh, same piece of information may be placed or uh, duplicated in different files uh, I uh, told in uh, one of the example in yesterday that is uh, suppose if we consider the uh, saving accounts uh, file and loan uh, loan uh, information files or loan account files so uh, saving account files there may be the customer name and phone number is there and uh, uh, um, I mean the loan uh, or borrower file there also the customer name and phone number is there but suppose some of the customer may change uh, his phone number and that customer actually present in both the file that means the such customer or that customer suppose the customer name is the Amit uh, Pal so Amit Pal have the account and as well as taking a loan from the bank so in the both the file Amit Pal is present so the main chance the phone number can be updated in one file and not updated in another file. Okay, so not only the information is redundant, least stored in both the files, same information, as well as this redundancy actually leads to the inconsistency. It leads to the inconsistency. That is, the data in one place is the current data and another place is the older or invalid data. That is. The, both the data are actually not the same though the phone number is the same is required in both the cases uh, both the place am i audible is it na? am i audible yes sir, yes, sir. okay yes sir. okay and second problem actually i told you the uh, that is the uh, data uh, difficulty in accessing of uh, data i mean the here actually Uh, here I mean uh, that is uh, due to this redundancy actually and uh, as well as the different application programs actually are written over a long time by the different system programmer by using the different programming language so so suppose uh, for example the bank uh, officer actually needs the information uh, the list of customers who have taken a loan from a particular branch a particular bank say not a branch particular bank in between 1 lakhs to 2 lakhs but when the bank officer needs such information during that time there is no such application program to generate such list that is the list consists of name of the customer who have taken a loan greater than equals 1 lakhs and less than equals 2 lakhs in between them basically so bank officer have the two options in, in uh, his or her hand so bank officer uh, asks the data processing department because the in the data processing department at that moment there is a only the application program is there suppose uh, they can generate the list of all loan customers okay so from that actually either uh, either data processing department manually find out the those desired customers list or maybe the bank officer asks to the data processing department uh, write a new application program to generate a, such a list so that time actually solution can provide maybe later actually after some days actually bank officer needs some uh, different information and again the, there is a no such application program is there to generate such list or maybe the such things so again face the difficulties that is uh, that 
uh, that means uh, this conventional uh, this file processing system or environment uh, do not allow the needed data to be retrieved in a convenient and as well as the efficient manner okay so better data retrieval uh, i mean better uh, data uh, retrieval retrieval means actually the accessing in, uh, system must be uh, need to be developed uh, for the general purpose okay so up to that, uh, 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 the whatever actually I can discuss up to that. Uh, this one I, I already uh, discussed in uh, my yesterday class. The next point is the data isolation. The, and that uh, from the sim similar reason actually the because the uh, data here actually data actually stored in uh, or scattered in different files, and uh, because I already told uh, these files are created not only at the beginning uh, when the database actually created. Maybe during that time, some of the files actually created, and depending on the needs later, some of the files are uh, maybe added or some of the files may be removed. And that can be done by different system programmers. So, their possibilities are there, of course, uh, chances are there that the, the file formats are maybe the uh, different. That is, the uh, data actually is stored or scattered in a different files, and that files may be in different format. So, it will be difficult to write the new application programs uh, uh, to retrieve such. Uh, retrieve the appropriate data. So this is actually uh, basically the data isolation or like that. So up to that, uh, I already discussed in my uh, first class or yesterday class, and uh, today also I can just uh, revise it. So still, again, uh, if you have uh, not understand or if you have any problem, then I can uh, 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 can you tell me? Is it okay or need to be discussed? Do you have any question or is it clear? Yes. What are the problem actually? Uh, difficulties actually face uh, if we use the conventional uh, file system. I think it's uh, okay. The next one is the uh, problem in concurrent access anomalies. So in most of the system nowadays, uh, most of the systems uh, 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 are allow. The multiple user to access the particular data access or maybe the update the particular data simultaneously uh, why uh, the most of the systems allow this because in order to improve the overall system performance to obtain the faster uh, response times and uh, may the system allow multiple users uh, to update the data simultaneously or concurrently and this such concurrent environment concurrent means basically the simultaneously the data can be uh, accessed by different users at the same time or concurrently so so for example the banking system whatever actually i uh, consider the in the banking system suppose uh, suppose uh, a account a is there account a so it contain a say rupees 10000 Okay. At a particular instant of time, account A consists of ten thousand rupees. Okay. Now suppose the two users, user one and user two, both actually try to withdraw. Try to withdraw amount say user one five hundred rupees and user to say thousand rupees is it clear at a particular instant of time account a actually consists ten thousand rupees and that instant two users concurrently or simultaneously try to withdraw 500 rupees and thousand rupees from the same account a okay So this result of uh, this concurrent or simultaneous access uh, may lead to the account in a inconsistent state. Suppose uh, you can think like a, this one because uh, here actually I can suppose account A actually what value actually contain the ten thousand rupees. Suppose uh, we can say the user one, okay, say u one. So u one, u one user user one and u two user user two. Suppose u one actually generate the read statement read which actually read it read the what is the value of account that is the balance amount 
and at that time also though the system actually used the sequential it also did the account a so user 1 and user 2 what value actually read please tell me anyone 10000 here also it read what 10000 is it okay or not both the user actually read the 10000 value suppose after that here the withdrawal amount that is here actually divide uh, sorry uh, remove the 500 uh, rupees from the account a okay and here also remove what amount a minus thousand okay then say this one actually write a in the database and this one write a in the database that is user one right here and user two up right after that okay basically these are actually we can discuss details uh, this one when we talk about the transaction and concurrency control chapter these are the actually transaction this is one of the transaction that transaction actually what task actually perform that tran this transaction actually perform the task it can it can withdraw the 500 rupees from account A and update the account A. And this is the other transactions. This one withdraw the 1000 rupees from account A and update accordingly. Now, question is these transactions and these two transactions for user 1 and user 2 access concurrently, that is simultaneously. So during that time, actually, what result actually you can see or you can expect. So here 10,000, initially it read the 10,000. So after deduction, what is the value of A? What is the value of A? 9500. Here, what is the value of A? Please tell me anyone. Here, what is the value 9, of 000. A? 9,000. Okay. This is the 9,000. Okay. It's better actually if I can just write different color. Oh, Just a minute. So user one, this one actually read the value ten thousand. Okay. Here after deduction it is a nine thousand five hundred. And this one actually write what value actually write on the account A 9500. That is, it updates the account A here instead of 10,000, 9500. Similarly, here actually the user B, that is the transaction, another transactions, another transactions actually it also read the same time 10,000 rupees. Is it this color is visible? 10,000 rupees. Now, after deduction of the 1000 rupees, its value is 9000. Is it okay? Now, what value actually write? By this, actually write in account A 9000. Now, you can see the both the right operation, which right operation actually perform last. Here, this right operation actually perform last. So, finally, in that case, finally, in that case, the updated value of this is which one this one that is 9000 is it clear this is a 9000 though the actual value withdraw 1500 that means what is the actual what is the actual value of the account a 8500 so instead of uh, instead of 8500 oh sorry instead of 8500 the database actually account a contain a 9000 or there may be possible there may be possible oh sorry
there may be possible if this suppose that this right operation is the after that that is this one is first then what happens that this account a account a will be updated by what value suppose that this this right this right execute before this right that is this one actually execute later or last so what value actually updated in the permanently database in the database or in account a this value so this will be actually updated here 9500 okay though both the result are actually wrong both the update value that is the inconsistency that is account a in the database it is updated either 9000 or 9500 instead of actual value 8500 so here this is the inconsistency so that is not desirable of course because the money the balance is not made now the what is the consistency consistency is the before withdraw before withdraw and after withdraw the balance plus withdraw amount that this will be there is need to be maintained the equilibrium is it not then need to be maintained the conservation the money conservation the total money is fixed the total money is 10,000 here that money will be taken by user 1 and user 2 and rest of the money present in the bank account A so initially value of the money equals to the updated value of the account value plus what amount actually taken by the user A and what account actually taken by the user 2 is it na? that is the total amount equals updated value of A that is updated amount in A account A and withdrawn sorry withdrawn amounts of user 1 and user 2 is it okay user 1 and user 2 is it clear now so but that is not maintained here because because if both the withdraw actually done in parallelly or concurrently the account a either contain either account a either contain 9000 or it contain a or it contain a either contain 9000 or it contain a 9500 though both are actually not preserve the conservation of the money so so in order to uh, protect that or guard that during the concurrent execution such that the database does not fall in inconsistent state some uh, I mean some form of supervision is required means when the database actually updated such kind of uh, concurrent environment some sort of supervision must be or uh, must be maintained uh, in the system in a conventional file system in earlier days uh, such type of I mean such type of supervision is very very difficult to incorporate or to provide okay that is some some form of supervision or some form of control is required that is uncontrolled concurrent access can lead to the inconsistent is it clear or any confusion the example is clear means during the concurrent access means in the reservation system or maybe the in the banking system for the same account maybe the uh, suppose uh, from my account uh, 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 suppose uh, my son actually uh, try to withdraw by using my ATM card and I am actually same at the same time actually trying to withdraw 
the money uh, from the bank uh, by using the check or maybe some other ATM card with but the account number is the same so three person actually try to withdraw the amount at the same time similar to the uh, to book the tickets in uh, railway or maybe in the flights or elsewhere so here these are the concurrent environment so during that time some some sort of uh, supervision or some sort of control is needed otherwise database uh, database may uh, goes to the inconsistent state okay is there any question or it's okay it's okay or example is clear or any confusion anyone please tell me yes uh, yes. Next one is the security. I mean, a security problem in a conventional file system. Uh, what is this? Uh, because not every user of the database systems uh, can access or able to access uh, all the data stored in the database. For example, suppose if we consider the bank uh, uh, banking system, uh, say payroll personnel. Uh, who can generate the salary sleep or something actually uh, or concerned that that is the payroll personnel uh, needs only uh, can uh, see the information about the information about the employee those employees are actually working in the bank the this payroll personnel are not able to see the information about the customer accounts which customer have an account is there or maybe the suppose uh, uh, he can know the customer name uh, who have an account in the bank but uh, it need to be hide from that payroll personnel such that payroll person cannot access the what amount actually have in his or her account his or her means uh, customer account okay so only the payroll person can see the information about the bank employees so so these are the actually what what things actually means every users actually not uh, able to access the all the information of the stored in the uh, database so such things actually very difficult to enforce uh, uh, in the uh, such type of security uh, things in a conventional file systems okay so the next point is the integrity uh, problem there is uh, the whatever the data actually or data value actually stored in the database uh, that sometimes uh, uh, some of the data values uh, satisfy certain uh, type of constant consistency constant uh, and uh, this constant need to be checked for example suppose uh, Suppose in banking system, whatever actually we consider, suppose in the banking system, uh, the balance, balance of the particular customer, the saving balance, uh, does not fall below say thousand rupees. Okay, if it falls below two thousand rupees, then say fifty rupees uh, fine is added in his account or her account. Okay, so so in that case, actually, what happens? Such constants need to be enforced in the system by adding the appropriate code in the appropriate code in the defined uh, application program is it not not only the uh, that uh, i mean that constant means uh, maybe the constants can be complicated suppose the constant is there the 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 say urban city there actually the minimum balance amount uh, of the account is saving accounts is the say 1000 rupees but in the a1 city the minimum balance amount is the say 300 3000 rupees okay so so for that actually to enforce such type of uh, constraint integrity constraint need to be uh, incorporated some security code uh, in the various application program and uh, and of course these constraints are actually uh, i mean constraints are actually added in different times means when the new constants actually are added it's of course difficult 
to change the application program to enforce them because the, I already told the different application programs is written by different programmer in different time and as well as the different programming language and not only the different programming language maybe the different style also so uh, so it will be very difficult to incorporate such type of constant and this problem uh, uh, integrity constant problem here actually I can say the one type of integrity constant problem there may be chances are there the several data several type of data have some constants are there that means uh, if the this problem will be uh, compounded or maybe more complex when the constant involved in on the several data items and those data items stored in the defined files not a single files okay and uh, next one is the atomicity uh, of update means uh, failures actually uh, 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 may leave the database in the, an inconsistent state with partial update carried out and uh, for example the fund uh, transfer actually from one account to another account either completed or not happened at all uh, for example actually suppose if we consider the previous one I mean say account A initially contain the say 10,000 rupees okay say 10,000 rupees here uh, this one actually I already discussed the uh, instead of zero I can say the uh, 1000 that is this is also the negative balance is not possible this constant means actually negative balance is not possible so 10,000 rupees is there suppose someone actually withdraw say amount say user one actually withdraw the thousand ru rupees from the account A. so how actually withdraw a person actually what for that is need to be some small transaction or small code what is the code for that just a previous one whatever actually I discuss here here just like this one it is the first actually read account A is it then account A is calculated that is account A minus 1000 okay then updated value is right in the database okay this is the code to do this operation what is the operation what is the operation user 1 withdraw amount 1000 rupees from the account A so to, to do this task this part of the code is need to be executed read the account value minus or deduct the 1000 rupees from the account A and finally write or updated on the account A. Up to that is any confusion or any question? Is it clear now? Nah? Whatever actually I want to say. Now suppose, now suppose, suppose here, suppose at that point means when this statement is executed during that time the system is failure failed okay system is crash so what happens so during that time the what value actually deducted this is not need to be update in the database or it will be more clear Say another user to whatever actually I told the user to actually try to withdraw 500. Say so this one actually just a minute. It will be take uh, another example. It will be more easy for you. Suppose the transaction or uh, I want to do the task. 500 account A actually consists 10,000 rupees and account B at that time actually consists say 5,000 rupees. Okay. Two accounts is there A and B. 
suppose I want to transfer the fund transfer fund 500 rupees from account A to account B okay what is the task task is the transfer the fund 500 rupees from account A to account B so what we can write here what we can write here what is the code for that small code you can write, uh, say in your word please tell me anyone first actually need to be need to be read account A is it not then deduct A from how many how much amount 500 amount just like algorithm you can say please tell me anyone transfer the fund 500 rupees to from account A to account B read account A deduct 500 from account A then what need to be right write this updated value in account A then read the account B please tell me anyone what is the next statement add 500 to B uh, that is the in B account B actually we can add the 500 B equals B plus 5 then finally we update the or write this one in the account B in the database okay that means this is the part of the code to do this task now I want to say uh, just a minute now I want to say suppose say uh, say here at that point system actually fail due to maybe power failure or maybe system crash or whatever you try to understand this statement is executed this one is executed this one right operation is done this one is executed this one is executed and after that immediately system is crashed before update the account value B so what happens if this right operation do successfully then account A actually consists of 9500 rupees is it not account A actually consists what value 9500 rupees and account B what value no change is it not because the right B is not executed before that system is crashed so so what happens if we have not take any measure what happens what is the total value total value is the 14,500 but what is the total value before the fund transfer total value is the 15,000 is it clear the total amount before the fund transfer is the in both the account is 15,000 after the partial fund transfer see due to system cash the total money actually consists 14,500 that is the missing of 5,000 amount uh, sorry 500 amount so this is the inconsistency so during this system failure actually this is a part of the recovery process the or uh, also the concurrency control we maybe discuss some sort of so either the database is permanently update if the whole transaction from here to here is completed that is from this point to this point that is the whole transaction after whole transaction is completed then the account A this one and account B is updated finally on the database otherwise it can store in temporary file or temporary variable is that clear if it is stored this one not updated permanently on the database the here then no problem it is stored in the temporary variable if finally update after this write B operation that is these instructions then the database maintain the consistency that is database piece up the, the initial amount of money and after the fund transfer the total amount of money both are actually match okay so the details uh, we can discuss later at the near to the end of the semester basically the this is the during the failure of system test uh, uh, may database actually lead to the inconsistent state so in a conventional file system actually 
it's a very very difficult to incorporate such a things so database systems actually or database management systems actually offers the solutions to all of the problems whatever actually i can discuss uh, today and also the uh, today mainly so all the problems and also the some other problems actually that uh, that cannot handle by the file system typical file system and application program that can be handled efficiently by the database management systems so this is the purpose of uh, database management systems uh, i think uh, uh, time is over uh, okay uh, so you have a next class is there na so up to that uh, any question do you have any question please no sir no sir okay uh, just a minute So I want to take the uh, attendance uh, here because I already told uh, uh, in a yesterday class actually whatever actually I found uh, that is why sometimes the similar kind of problems actually happens in Google Meet means it can uh, cannot uh, record all the attendance uh, successfully sometimes so it's better actually the whatever actually automatically attendance that will be generated and saved uh, in my files uh, in my uh, laptop and as well as I can take the uh, uh, one more attendance. Uh, for safety purpose so i can uh, call you uh, your roll number uh, please uh, roll number 127 present sir okay, uh, uh, 128 128 129 129 yes sir Uh, 131. Yes, sir. 131. Present, sir. Present, sir. 133. 133. 134. 134. Present, sir. Okay. Present, sir. 135. 135. 136. Present, sir. 137. 137. 138. One thirty-eight. Present, sir. One thirty-nine. Present, sir. One forty. Present, sir. One forty-one. One forty-two. One forty-two. One forty-three. One forty-three. One forty-four. One forty-five. One forty-five. One forty-six, one forty-six, one forty-seven, one forty-seven, one forty-eight. Present, sir. One forty-nine. Present, sir. One fifty-one, one fifty-one, one fifty-two, one fifty-three. Present, sir. One fifty-five. Uh, sorry, one fifty-four. Present, sir. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. One fifty-six. One fifty-seven. One fifty-seven. One fifty-eight. Present, sir. One fifty-nine. Yes, sir. One fifty. One sixty. Present, sir. One hundred sixty-one, one sixty-one. Devolina one. Oh, sorry, Devolina already given. One sixty-one. Then one sixty-two. Yes, sir. One sixty-three. Atul Kumar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One sixty-four. Yes, sir. One sixty-five. Yes, sir. One sixty-six. 
167 yes sir 168 yes sir 169 169 170 yes sir 171 present sir 171 172 172 present sir okay thank you 173 yes sir 174 yes sir 175 182 present sir okay 183 present sir 184 present sir present sir 184 present sir okay 185 185 present sir 185 present sir okay here yeah. uh, 185 rohan Yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. 186, 186. Present, sir. Present, sir. One eighty seven. One eighty seven. One eighty eight. Eighteen by six. Roll number six. Rajatarai. Eighteen six. Eighteen thirty four. Utsav Samanto. उत्सव सामंत निरुपम निरुपम कुमार सर टेल मी सर माय इंटरनेट गॉन डाउन सर डिड यू कॉल आउट माय रोल नंबर सर सर Eight double zero six. Okay, just a minute. Just after complete this one, uh, please tell me again. Sir, Prajita Roy, sir. Sir, uh, uh, right there, sir. Uh, oh, I said eighteen. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, just ha. Uh, I already called. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, now roll number eighteen forty three. Eighteen forty three. Second. Uh, hello, sir. Ha. Huh? Yeah. Hello, sir. Sir, I'm in one. Sir, I have one sixty one. I have called out. You didn't. ओके जस्ट जस्ट मिनट एक्चुअली आपका कंप्लीट दिस 1895 18 बैच 95 विशेष क्या स्लोय प्लीज टेल मी योर रोल नंबर 161 1961 161 One sixty one, one thirty five. Sir, one forty three. One forty three. Sir, one one seventy eight. Sir, sir, one sixty one over. Sir, one seventy eight. Sir, Vikas Kumar. One sixty one is one seventy eight. Sir. One seventy-eight, Vikas Kumar. Yeah, Vikas Kumar, one seventy-eight. Okay, I think. Uh, sir, one. Sir, one twenty-nine, sir. Hello. I already sir. told. Uh, uh, hello. I can take the uh, somewhere in the middle or at the end of the class. Actually, the attendance. Actually, please. Uh, hello. Send, uh, hello. Uh, sir, am I audible? Uh, audible. Your roll number. Uh, sir, one seven one. One seventy one. Seven. Ha, okay. It's uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, now uh, you may leave uh, the class.
Sir, can you upload the video lectures and slides on Moodle? Yeah, I can upload uh, within this week. Okay, but so at the end of this week, actually, I can upload. Uh, uh, it's better actually. I can mail you the, the how you actually uh, you can enroll in the course. Just uh, uh, end of this week, actually, I try to incorporate this one in the module at least uh, some RCS slide. Okay. Okay, what is the stop recording? To?